All right, just got back in the house. Uh, just walked around with the Maxpedition Vulture 2. Felt really good. The straps felt nice. The the load balance was extremely well. Uh, I felt the waist strap was a little high on me, maybe just because I'm a real tall guy. I'm 6'5", so um, you know that might be a problem with me. But overall, I, it, was, it felt really good. So let's uh, let's see how its big brother, actually its, it's big evil twin, uh, the Rush 72 does. So here's a little quick test on loadout. And all the all of my weights, the towels and weights need to be right at the same spot that I left it. So not a lot of sliding around. So now let's, let's put these in the Rush 72. So as you can see it's a the clamshell opening is really nice. I could really go up right in the bottom there and put it. Here's the 15 pounder. Sorry for the, the glare and the, the shadows, it's time of day is changing as I'm filming this. So as you can see, I mean I still have some space in here. These, I imagine these are all going to sink down as I walk. And you know, I could put an analogy log well in there, for example. Uh, with the, the Vulture 2, that, there's no way it would fit in anything else besides these three weights. As you can see, again with the material, the Rush 72 is a lot more flexible and the zippers don't really get, uh, they're not in the way, they, they don't get hampered by the, the, the kind of material that it is. So it's extremely easy to zip the, uh, the Vulture 2, I, I find every time I'm opening it up, it's, it's just a little tough. Also, before I go on, uh, the handle on this one, uh, on the Vulture 2, it's, it's good. It feel, it's very high quality. Actually, both of them are similar design and quality. The thing I don't like about the Vulture 2 handle is uh, that the hydration opening is right here in the middle. So often on, when I'm putting my hand through here, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting this hydration strap here, or the Velcro. So sometimes my finger gets caught there and I can't figure out where the handle is. On the Rush 72, uh, you'll notice that those, it has two openings on the, on the sides. On left and right, so you could have the, the, the straw for the hydration bladder going to either, either side, and the handle is very, you know, very easy to get into. So I'm going to have to give a point to that for the rest of you, too. So let's continue strapping this thing on. Let's see. You know, one, one part of me, I don't, I don't necessarily like having to unstrap these, these two uh, straps here versus the next edition, which is just one, to get into the main compartment. But I guess I could live with that. It's uh, yeah, it's definitely heavy. So let's put this thing on and uh, go for a walk. All right, I have the 511 Tactical Rush 72 on right now. About to go outside. Here's a quick view of it on me. Now, I'm a big guy. I'm uh, about 240, six foot, uh, 240 pounds, six foot five. So just to give you a little impression of it. Uh, first initial thoughts. It feels real nice. Uh, it has a different kind of, the, the way that the, the straps attached to it's a little bit different. I forget the name, what it's called exactly. Uh, but I'm going to take it out, see how it feels walking. Uh, initial, uh, again, on initial thoughts, it doesn't have as many loose straps as I saw with the, the Vulture 2. So maybe that's just because uh, this is made, maybe made better for big guys and the Vulture 2. I don't, I don't know. Now that I think about it, I have no idea. But there's a lot more, lot more straps with the Vulture 2 than there is with this, loose straps. Both of them have these little tie things that try to keep everything you know, cinched in, uh, but with the Vulture 2 I have things dangling all over the place, and this one I don't. Uh, it feels really good though, on first thought, so let's go take a mile walk and see what we think of it. Alright, I'm out here in the park uh, with the 511 Tactical Rush 72. Uh, initial thoughts, uh, it doesn't feel as good as the Vulture 2 when, when uh, loadout, keep walking around with it. Uh, it's a spe it's, it has to do with the, the straps back here. Uh, it has a different design where it's just not you know, flushed up against the, the backpack. You can see uh, it has kind of a, a curved texture to it. And it, it, for me, it pinches the, my neck. So it kind of, it's kind of has like a Vulcan neck print pinch as you're walking. So uh, it has identical weight in it, 35 pounds. But uh, because of the design of this, it's kind of uncomfortable. Now, I don't know if it'd be different if I reposition the straps, maybe, or maybe just because I'm a big guy. Uh, but just on first, you know, initial thoughts of it, it's not as comfortable as 
uh, the Vulture 2. As far as how it balances the weight, they're both about equal, I'd say. Um, I, I like how the, the, the waist strap and the chest strap feel a little bit better on the Rust 72. So both of those, I would I'd give it a the nod over the Vulture 2. But the shoulder straps, I would definitely give to the Vulture 2 just because it doesn't pitch as much. Uh, I think they, uh, 511 Tactical did this because they say it balances the weight better. But I find that it pitches the neck is better as well, too. So, so I'm going to walk around a little bit more with it, and then let's do some more testing with it. So this is the Rush 72. All right, now let's do a test on the the water bladder features of these two bags. Both of them are water bladder capable. Uh, if, um, if you look on the, this is the Vulture 2, it doesn't have any drainage in the main compartment, so that's a, it's kind of a negative on it. It has a better base on it, but no drainage. The Rush 72 does have two drainage spouts here, so that's definitely a plus if you were to have any kind of liquid still in there. Both of them do have a water bladder capable. Let's open this one up. And it's a different kind of material. It looks like it's better suited for water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to dump a Nalgene water bottle in it and see how it handles it. So let's give it a shot. And move this one out of the way. And I'm just going to pour it in. So here, here we go. Now as you can see, it has a little hole there. And uh, water's coming out. It's just fine. You know, the position of this, it's kind of, you go right down your ass crack, so uh, if you're on a long hike and you're very hot and you happen to pop your water bladder, you'll get nice drainage down your crack, so I guess that's a good thing. That's up to you, though. Uh, let me see. I don't know if you can see in there. There's still a little bit of water, but it got most of it out. It's actually pretty well. It's a little bit left. But for the majority of the water, it, uh, it came out really nice, and it's a... Uh, and a very water resistant in there. So let's try the Vulture 2 out. So let's see, Vulture 2, the water bladder doesn't open up all the way, just on this side. And it doesn't it has a different kind of material. It's not as a it seems like the, the Rush 72 is a little bit better because this is a, a cloth material, so it's definitely gonna get wet if, if the water bladder would leave. It doesn't have any drainage tubes, but it does have a, the sides here where you put the the waist straps in, kind of back as the drainage tube. So let's see how they work. Here's another Nalgene water bottle. Let's dump it in. So you can see it comes out right out the sides. So I guess it, it, does, it won't go down your ass crack to give you that nice cool feeling that you want on a long height. It does drain it all though, definitely. But it will get the, the backpack wet on the inside on this material since it's a clothy material. So I'd say it drains better and it doesn't drain down your, your ass crack, but uh, it does get your backpack wet. So I'm going to give the, the nod to the Rush 72 on this one just because the material is better suited for, you know, if you were to pop your water bladder and it was to spill because it's, it's, it's dry, this is, and this is completely wet. Uh, also, yeah, um, as far as the, the handles go, it definitely goes to the, the Rush 72 because this water bladder uh, you know, Velcro here gets in the way on the handle on the Rush 72 versus, sorry, on the Vulture, Vulture 2 versus the Rush 72, which has nothing to obstruct you from getting in there. Uh, also, I was going to talk about the backs of these. After carrying both of them for a, you know, a good amount of distance, I'm going to give a nod on the back of it to the Rush 72 definitely wins just because of it's a little padded here on the two shoulder blades and then by your hip here as well. Uh, and it has this little bit of space that gives you a little bit of air so you're not quite as sweaty as, as I was with the Rush 72, with the uh, Vulture 2. With the Vulture 2, you're definitely going to feel that heat and you're going to build up sweat back there. Uh, it's nice and padded, but it doesn't have the same kind of, uh, you don't get air going through there. And that might be because this has a, some kind of metal plate in there. Uh, I don't know if that's if that's how it works, but I think it's these elevated portions of the backpack uh, cause it so air is traveling through there a little bit more. I wish that the bottom of the Rush 72 had this material that's here on the base, but that just went all the way down here so it had a more water resistant base to it. So uh, let's continue on with testing. Alright, I just got back from my walk with uh, Rush 72 
And uh, overall, I mean, it's good. It's just the only my only problem with it is the shoulder straps that the the way that they're attached to the bag it has like a kind of a curvature to it. It kind of pinches my neck a little bit. Now I don't I don't know if that's just because of the way I'm built and what, what how my muscular structure looks like. Uh, but I'd have to get the edge to the straps and the weight support to the Vulture 2. The Vulture 2, I, I felt like I could carry it all day with no biggie. With the uh, Rush 72, you know, it's it's a little bit, uh, it's not as comfortable. So let's do a loadout of the Rush 72 and then continue on with our testing. So the Rush 72, I really like the opening, opening and closing of this, the load in, load out. Uh, just because it opens up a lot easier than the Vulture 2. As you can see, all that weight kind of shifted down. That might have resulted in why it was so uncomfortable for me. Maybe if it was more of a balanced load that I wouldn't have experienced the pinching that I did. Because as you can see, I could fit a whole other weight in there if I wanted to. So let's take these bad boys out. Uh, the towels are courtesy of Martha Stewart, if you were wondering. Let's see. Okay, so we've talked a little about storage space. That definitely goes to uh, the Rush 72. Let's talk about the water bladders now. Both are water bladder capable. Let's start off with uh, Vulture 2. Let's see how it does. So I have a platypus. It's a 3 liter. Um, it's a 100 ounce water bladder. The water bladder, the opening only goes halfway. It doesn't go all the way around. I kind of wish, I mean, you know, if, if I was a left-handed or right-handed, I'm sure I'd have a preference. So I kind of wish that it opened up all the way, but it doesn't. So, and it looks like it does fit the water bladder right in there. Uh, and then the, the straw would go out to this middle opening here. I don't really like this middle opening. I don't like, I don't like where it's placed. And I, I feel that it gets in the way of the handle, which I would be using a lot. So, uh, but it does, yeah, it does fit. It's a 3 liter water bladder. Let's try the Rush 72 out. Now the Rush 72, you see, you see that the water bladder opening opens, it goes both ways. <laughs> uh, so I could open it up all the way like that. It has a metal piece in here to kind of protect, I don't know, I guess if you're carrying sharp objects, it wouldn't poke you, although it would break your water bladder. Uh, so let's try to put this thing on there. Now this metal plate down here in the bottom, I kind of, it kind of gets in the way a little bit of putting this on. It's kind of hard, actually. Yeah, so it does fit the 3 liter water bladder as well, and, this, and the tubing would then go up to these two sides up here. And they'll go up. So you could do it either left or right handed, which I would I actually prefer. Uh, it's a little harder to get in there just because of this. There's like an arch. It's kind of a there's a metal object in here that kind of arches it. But I think that helps with the, uh, you know getting air through your back so you're not sweating as much. And here's the opening for the water bladder. Um, I'm gonna give the nod to the Rush 72 on this one. Yeah, it's a little harder to get into that bottom part there. But uh, I, I like, uh, there's a lot more space in there. I feel, I feel like I could even fit some more things, pack some more things in there if I wanted to. And then I also prefer uh, the left and right openings for the, for the, for the straw. So now let's, uh, let's do a test on how good of, uh, this is with water wicking. I, I guess not water wicking, but uh, water resistance. I know neither of these are going to be completely water resistant. Uh, but they should be a little bit because we should expect to see some rain. So what I have here for this test are uh, I have four paper towels. Let's run this thing under the shower. Uh, I know that's not going to be a good simulation, but it's the best I could do right now. And let's see how wet these things get. So I'm going to put three paper towel rolls into the main compartment of the Rush 72. And I'm going to put one here in this, in this front compartment. And let's see if how wet they get. Alright, so let's move on to the shower test for the Rush 72.